Hello, Kerry here. I thought to do a quick follow on from my last video with the birds and the feathers. I've done some birds and eggs in this one because I've had some more ideas. For the first bird, I used a stamp. For the second bird, I used the Uniball Signo uh, white pen and wrote on it. Let's go closer. On the third one, I used a stencil. These were all experiments. The stencil is my least favourite, actually. It's a little bit too clunky. It's not delicate enough, I don't think. So I used the stencil with some white paint through. Um, <clears throat> I did the same. I drew on with a pencil on that bird. I liked I liked the curly cues. I did the stamp on that egg. I did the writing on that egg. I did some dots. I'm not so sure about that. And I did the stencil on that egg. And now I'm going to do some other ideas I wanted to try out. First of all, I'm going to go in and do some more of the curls on this bird. Just tidying up the edges there, a little bit rough, with the intense pencils. So I'm just going to do a curl there, and another one lower down in the body. Tidying up this area as well. It's not necessary, but I just like fiddling, I think. I'm using my spy ruler, hashtag copyright Carrie Gibson. <laughs> it's just so useful. Just keeps me on the straight and narrow or the curly road. There, I like that. Tidying up this bit, air, bit of an area there. For some reason, these edges went a bit rough. So the next one, the next bird, I'm going to try just some doodles on it with the Uniball Signo White Gel Pen. Just want to try all these different ideas out that came to me after I'd done the last video. I thought, oh, I want to try this. Oh, I want to try that. <laughs> so I quickly went upstairs and drew these out. And so now I, have quite, I now have quite a collection of little birds. Which are your favourites? Is it the birds? Is it the feathers? Or is it the eggs? I think I like the birds best. And there, just adding some more leaves. So that's different, isn't it? I hope these give you some ideas of things to try out. Now what I'm going to do with this uh, little yellow egg on the right there, I'm going to do some splatters. So I've cut out a template just so I don't get paint absolutely all over everything. In fact, I'm going to cover most of the paper with various bits of paper I've got around. A bit of paper there. There's something along the bottom there to protect those. Oh, so I need to cover that other egg as well. A bird. It's not an egg. <laughs> it looks like an egg. Yeah, that should do it. And I'm going to use a paintbrush and obviously my watercolours. It's ages since I've done splatter, so I hope this works. I'm using a bit of purple, which looks kind of dark, but it is purple. When it dries, it'll look more purple. And some of the uh, opera rose pink. Of course. <laughs> I love that colour. Have I told you that before? <laughs> Lovely splatters of that. And I need to let that dry. So it makes a nice little speckled egg. Yeah, I like that one. That might be my favourite egg. Now for the last egg, I'm going to do some more swirls on that one. Using a sort of crimson colour pencil. A hint of it's sort of like a, a warm purple. So I'm going around the edges a little bit. Just warming up to do the curls, actually, this is, I think. I 
Oh, I'm using my spy ruler again. It's such a good idea for the larger ones. They're difficult to freehand accurately. Small ones I can freehand. Yep. And then I finish off a little bit. And here I'm adding a little bit at the top there. A little bit round there. And I'm going to show you where I go wrong now. I was going to put a bit there, but it's too similar to the um, large one. So what I do is I get some water on my brush. And luckily I only did it very faintly. And just by wetting it and moving the paint around, you can't see that mark anymore. So once it's dried, it's dried now, I can go in and do a different shape there. It's nice and dry. So we're going to go in that way instead. Phew. There. That's a lot better. Oh, I like that one now. a little bit coming in there and there it's like a Fabergé egg there so just adding some more dots I'm still not sure about the one with the dots maybe it'd be better if I didn't have the dots all quite all, all over maybe if I just did it in one part either the top or the bottom like the feathers in the previous one but anyway I tried so here they are anyway these alternative ideas you to try out on your birds and here we are with a closer look quickly show you these and I hope you enjoyed watching thank you bye